everyone, Cheryl here today with Kadoodlebeck Designs, and today we're going to be working with the darling um, Nomi Friends Birthday Nash Peeker. Isn't he cute? So I did do two of them, and I have them up here, and we're going to work on this one together. This week is Kadoodlebeck's 12th year, 12th year anniversary, and so over on the Facebook pages, we're having hops and prizes and giveaways. And then she's also Melissa from Kadoodlebeck Designs. She's also giving uh, SVG freebies every day this week. So this was yesterday's, and I believe it's still up. Um, you could check it out. And there's another one up as well. So um, that's another one I want to do a video on. But we're going to do this one for now. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to add our ears. And I did use a dark gray from American Crafts. Um, it's I think it's from the Neutrals collection. I buy all the collections they have. Um and like the spring and the um i've got spring and oh goodness gracious oh primaries and earth tones and all the different packs but anyways i'm using black suit on that on these and so i did do most of my pieces up and i'm just going to do a little bit right there on the edges you won't even see it i don't think but so we're going to add these ears first. So that was the first color. The second color I'm using either came in the earth tones or the neutrals and is kind of a brownish color. I used to work uh, for American Crafts and I buy a lot of paper. And even before then, um, I bought all my card stock from their warehouse sale, they would have really awesome deals on the packs. And so that's where I would get them. And then if I ended up needing them in the store, I'd buy them in there. We used to have like a Roberts where you could get like half off the, the price. And so you'd get them for like 10 bucks. But I liked when I worked there, I got them for like $5. It was so cheap. Anyways, so the ears are on now. Oops. And I'm hoping that's fine. So now we're going to do the cupcake wrapper. The cupcake wrapper, I use Stampin' Up, one of their old design papers. And then I'm using Regal Rose on the, whoops, on the edges. After putting this together, I kind of was like, oh, I should have did the wrapper a different pattern and left the hat polka dots because I love polka dots. And I didn't, and that's okay. He's still cute. So I'm just going to use, um, this is a thin design paper, so I kind of want to try to be careful and then just kind of dab in. I'm kind of just dabbing in and then coming on top and down. And so it just gives it a nice little look. And so at least the hat's done and we're done with that. Okay, so we do need our dots on the wrapper. Um, so let's go ahead and add those. I think I'm going to just add a couple at a time uh, for the video. So that's for the hat. So the way I separated everything up was I tried to get the dots with the hat and, and all the pieces and then the cupcakes all here, the face and the head and the hands and the nose. I kind of just separated them, but to try to help, um, and I did not distress these at all. So, whoops, and something just flew down. Okay. So I didn't distress these at all. And I added too much glue, I could tell. So the little corners get, and I'm not really zoomed in a whole lot. So let me zoom in. Now, if you want to see full screen, you can tap down here, tap your screen, and there should be a box to get to the full screen on your phone if you're on a cell phone. If you're not on a cell phone, then you probably won't have a problem, but seeing the entire screen. Okay, and I'm just going to put the little ones down here. And then I need, I've got one more, one more here, and then the one right here. And I'm thinking I'm going to do.
do, I think I'm just going to put that one there. And then that one there. I, I hope this one doesn't get covered up by the chocolate cake, cupcake. Okay. So I've got the dots on. So now I want to add the chocolate piece on. And so I'm just going to add this on next. And it just kind of goes right like so. Okay. And so now we have the um, chocolate on. And I want to get the head on and find the placement for this head. And I have a feeling I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, you guys. Um, so you're not really going to see too much of this head but I did try to bring it down where these whiskers are at the edges right there and so we'll just go ahead and get the head whoops placed on and so the whiskers are kind of right where these openings are that's where I put it but if you're not sure you could always take your hat piece and the bottom and then figure where this is going to go. And we may want to go up a little bit. So we can move this head up a tad. On those, I added the icing on first. And then slid the head in behind. But I was thinking, let's try it a little different on this one. So if you were to add these icing pieces... First, we can kind of do that. That head's not pushed down right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of show you what I did on the first two. So on the first two, I kind of came in and just put these icing pieces where they needed to be. And then I slid that head in um, behind them. I gotta come up. I think it comes up like so. Oh, if I had, there we go. And then the last icing. Well, this is just another way you could do this if you, if you wanted. So because this part's going to come over this anyways, but I need to make sure this hat, that's the main thing. I want to make sure the hat's going to cover where it needs to. And it looks like it is, because this will come on next, um, the little muzzle, and then the nose. So, so that looks good. So I can push down all that and get that pushed down. So I've got um, the head on and the icing and then um, the cheeks. And then we'll go ahead and put the hat on. Whoops. Okay, and then we'll get the little cheeks. I'm thinking, let's see where this part, that part goes right there. And then, so on the muzzle, I did use the brushed corduroy and I kind of left the muzzle just to kind of show, kind of pouncing in. And then just coming around and getting it really, this color really inked up. And then I am going to do some chalk on this one. And so that's kind of how I did. You can go as dark or as light, but I'm just using Stampin' Up's uh, pink. And I just put a little bit on there. And I didn't do those ones first, so I thought, oh, in my video, I probably should show that. So I figured if you're going to do, if you want to do any type of like, and I'm not even sure if those will show, but that's all right. So if you're going to do any of that, you could probably do that now. And then just get the little muzzle in place. 
There's that. Okay, so we have the muzzle, and then we're going to do this hat piece. Get that on. And then just kind of push those down. Get that all pushed down. And then, whoops, and my muzzle needs to come right out there. And then the nose. Let's get that nose on next. Super cute. Okay. And so now um, we'll just add the little flower up here. And then um, we do need to add the dots to the top of the hat. You could almost actually leave the dots off the top if you wanted. I don't know. I think I may. I don't know. But if you if you get, let's just add them since I'm doing this anyway. So I might as well just add them and show you. So we're gonna do that one here. We got one here, one here. Okay. So we're gonna go. This one has a little like kind of nick out of it, and there's not enough glue on that. So we're gonna grab that really quick. Just put that one there. And then we have the partial one. We got a partial one here and a full one here, and then a full one here. And then the partial right there. And then full one there. Okay. And then we can add our white dots. So I want three here. I like adding the dots. And the nose. Now you could come in and fix that. And then on the little muzzle, I did put uh, three little dots on each side. And then if you want to do like some highlighting very gently, you kind of just come in. And a little top there. <laughs> okay. And now we can add. Oops. Okay, so now we can add our glue. So for the cupcake part, I didn't add glue to the entire cupcake. I kind of came in and I left, like I was drawing a little edge, and left the edges on the one. And same thing with this one. That way you could kind of see where these layers are. So it just kind of, you're kind of just following those. Oh, we forgot the hands. I guess that would help if we put those on. Uh, yikes. Let's get those on now. I guess this is a good time to add them because we've got a lot of glue here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add those now. <laughs> and I have a ton of glue. We won't have to worry about those. And then definitely I like to add those little highlights on there okay so for this one I did use I need to pull this wow one out I guess we should probably maybe we should do the wow first um because this glue won't dry so anyways I'm gonna come up here and get this one these are from um American Crafts when I worked there I'd buy these but anyways let's see if I can carefully get that on this is one of my favorite ones the one on the hat um this one is i use it on the wings a lot okay and then i do want to get the bottom one done shoot let's see we'll do i guess i should grab another dish Let's grab another one really quick. There we go. I wish I could get them out of the one. Okay, so I'm just using this one. 
And so that one goes in there. And then this one just needs to all be brushed out. I kind of just take a brush and get them out of there. And so we're going to put the glitter one in here on this one. So I'm using on this one, I'm going to use the pink. I actually like the other one. I think, well, I like both of them, but I think I'm going to grab the, this one's just a pearl. And then we're done. This one was a pretty easy one to do. Let's see if I can get this. And then you can brush off any of the excess into your little. Yeah, I like the. Okay. Cute. And then if you have to, you could just take your brush and kind of get, take a brush, any brush, and get those off of there and there you have it and so i do hope you enjoyed my video today and if you did give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos please follow and thanks for stopping by have a good day